Hi, I am Jim Roman, I am the developer of VR Shooter Kit, and in this video I want to show you how you can create your own grabables using VR Shooter Kit in Unity. And if you don't have VR Shooter Kit already, you can get it from the asset store. I will let the, the link in the description if you want to take a look. And I want to create like a, a tutorial series or a couple of, of videos, like five videos maybe. So I can cover the, the most of the settings from VR to the kit so you can create your own games. And because a lot of people have been asking for this, so I just decided to, to take a moment and record this video because we are totally needed. So in this tutorial series, I'm going to use this, this asset because it is free and it had a lot of weapons and are just two megabytes. So it is perfect for this, I think so. So, if you want to follow this tutorial, maybe you want to get it from the asset store, I will let the, the link in the description too, so if you want to, to follow me while I'm making this, so you can do it. So, I had already this project using VR to the kit, and I had already the, the asset we were, we were talking about. And what we are going to do in this, in this video, I really want to keep it really simple, uh, we are going to try to do it the, the fast we can. So the only thing we are going to do is uh, just to create a, a weapon, a weapon you can grab. That's the only thing we are going to do. In next videos, I want to show you how you can make this weapon to, to shot or to do some whatever thing we want. Uh, actually, we had a lot of samples of, about weapons here on the sample set from VHU the Kit. So you can just play around, you had a lot of weapons. But if you want to learn how to create your weapons, and this tutorial series, we are going to do it. So let you choose whatever weapons looks nice for us. Maybe this one, I like this one. So I will drop this weapon right here. Mod a little bit, it may be a little bit bigger. Click uh, here on the component. I find for our VR grabable. So, what is the VR grabable? It's just the, the script that, or the component we use in VR2D Kit in order to, to grab or interact, interact with things in virtual reality. So the first thing we are, we are going to notice and from VR grabable is this small circle, blue circle we have right here. And it, we, we had a, a couple of dots right here. So we can make it smaller or bigger. And this small circle is used for, it's like a visualizer for the grad distance. So as you can see, we have hit the grad distance. And if we make it smaller or make it bigger, we can set the, the grad distance, uh, guess update, or we can make it like here. So the grad distance, maybe it is self-explanatory, but, but it is just the distance your hand need to be from the object in order to try to grab this, this object. So for example, if we have like one, uh, that means uh, our hand in the virtual reality needs to be a, a, use a use one unit far away from this object in order to grab this object. So maybe maybe one is too much, maybe just like this will be enough. So the next thing about this is that we don't need actually to do anything in order to grab an object. You just, just drop your VR grabable script in your, in your weapon and we can click play right away. By the way, I am using, I am using the, the, the sample Oculus Send. You can use whatever Send you want. We have the, the Oculus Send, we have the STEM VR Send and the Unity XR Send. And another thing I forgot to tell you is that this little inspector we have here that looks very, very nice. It's very new. I actually used really this, this inspector like, like this weekend. So it is very new. If you don't have this inspector uh, already, maybe you need to go to the asset store and update your VR to the kit version. So let you hit play and let's see what happens. So as you can see, we can grab a weapon. Actually, the, the grad is working, but you notice that as soon as we, grab, we draw the weapon, I just draw the weapon, uh, because we don't have any collider, the, the weapon you will pass through the, through the walls or through the floor. So maybe let's add a couple of colliders, uh, maybe like here, let me see. 
maybe use in like here a mess collider will will do will do the trick maybe yeah that is okay so we can clip layer so as you can see we can grab again the, the weapon yeah if we drop the weapon it just don't pass through so as you can see it is working we had a we can grab the weapon and if we drop the weapon it just don't go through the colliders anymore so but, but it's not working like the way we wanted because the weapon is actually pointing uh, like to us maybe we want the weapon pointing from the other side so the only thing we need to do is go to here to grab settings and we need to go right here to interaction settings and we had right hand and we had left hand and what this mean and we had in in the VR grabable we can define how how the grad we work for one hand or the other hand if you want maybe an animation for the right hand or another animation for the left hand maybe you want to keep it this uh, split maybe you want to one setting for the left hand and one setting for the right hand but in, mo in most of the case, maybe we want to, to have the same setting from both hands. So it's, if that is the case, we can uh, go here to chart settings and we can select yes. So now we have both hand settings. So we had a, a couple of things like here. We had the grab point, we had the highlight point in the rotation offset. Let's start by the grab point. The grab point is actually uh, it's very easy. It uses the point from our hand holding the weapon. So we can create, as you can see, we can create a empty game object, create empty, and maybe we can call it grab point. And maybe we want our hand to be right here, right? Because, because this is the, the, the point from where you grab a weapon actually so maybe it's like here is okay and we can set or grab point now we have something called highlight point uh, in this video I, I like I said I'm going to, to keep it simple I don't want to touch the, the point about highlight but uh, you for you to know the highlight point is the, is the point from from where your hand needs to be in order to highlight this weapon we had a uh, some highlights effect like like the weapon ch changing color when you can grab the weapon but we are going to see another video in most of the case we just need to to set the same grab point in the highlight point maybe in use in some work case we want different settings but in most of case you set using the, the same point for grabbing and the same point for highlight is okay so and you can play along with this maybe it does make actually a big difference but it's okay to have it so we have the rotation offset and the rotation, the rotation offset is uh, very easy to understand it's just the the rotation we want to apply to this object while we are grabbing this object so as you can say maybe we want the, the weapon pointing to the other side so maybe 180 in the G axis will make the, the trip for us maybe it will go it will work maybe, let's see what happens so as you can see we are grabbing the weapon we are grabbing the weapon from the, the point we actually defined so this is working the way we intended to, to work is pointing to the to the right to the right side so it's okay for now so for the last settings in this video what we had or what we want to do is maybe an animation for our hand because okay we are grabbing the weapon but our hand is just right there just steady just doing nothing so in as the same the same thing here we had setting from left hand and right hand as i say you can use maybe a different animation or maybe a different effort for a different effort for the left hand or the right hand but most of the time we want to check the setting for both hands so use chair settings and we had both hands
So the first thing we had is this little thing called hi hand. And what this helps us to do is to the hand well, the hand will, will be high while you are grabbing the object. And this is this is okay for most most of the game, I think so. There is a, a lot of games that actually do this and maybe we don't even notice because it, it feels natural actually to, to hand your hand to be high while you are holding an object. So let's try it. Let's try this. As you can see, if you select no, you have the, the spy for the grad animation. And if you select hide, uh, you don't have the animation because you don't need animation if so your hand will be actually invisible. So let's hit play again and let's see what happens. So uh, as, you, as you can see now, our hand is grabbing the object, but our hand is invisible and it feels okay, I think so. In, like I say, in most of the game, maybe this is what we want. But we can use an animation tool if this is what we want to do. So we can select no here, so the hand will be visible while grabbing the object. And we have to pay for the grad animation. And in VR to the key, we have a couple of, of grad animations. So you can go here to VR to the key, models, VR hands. And we have a uh, logo Kyle hand folder. And we have the animation folders. And this is all the, hard, the grad animations we are using in VR to the key. So maybe one of the animations will work for, work for, for us. I don't know. So let's just try. Maybe I, I think maybe that we can use the maybe the revolver animation, the grad revolver animation. Maybe. So let's try. So as you can see, our hand is doing the animation actually, but it's not in the right position. So it's actually very easy to fix. Maybe we just need to to move the, the grab point so maybe we can move this like here and it will look a little bit better i don't think it will work uh, perfect but we lose we look better i think so so as you can see it looks a little bit better maybe if you can you want you can uh, keep moving the grab point to the position you ha you you want to to move it, but for now I think it's okay. So I think this will be all for this video. Uh, as you can see, we had a lot of of settings for the VR grabable. So we covered the, the basic settings. Remember, you had the the grab point, the highlight point. You can define where you want to to web your weapons or your object to be grabbed. And we had the animations, we had the grad distance. So in next video, we are going to see uh, all those settings. All these settings are actually help us to, to create like, like new gravity mechanics or creating other things we want. So uh, see you in the next video. If you like this, uh, maybe you can leave a comment so I can know what, what this kind of video uh, do you like this kind of video? And maybe you can let me know what you want to, to do in the next video. Maybe we can just draw the, this weapon and maybe do another weapon or we, we can do maybe a mill weapon. So I don't know. It's up to you. So see you in the next video.